Here. What is that for me? Well, what do you think I'm doing? Showing it off? Are you going to take it or what? Uh, okay, thanks. Thank you. Better eat it fast before it disappears. Its durability is almost down to zero. Hey y'all, and welcome back to My Little Corner of the Internet. My name is Lilith, and for today's video, we're going to do another episode of Anime Food. I think this is episode two. I think I've only done one other of these. But anyways, today's recipe comes from one of my all-time favorite animes, and it is the first of the different foods we're going to do from this series. There's definitely going to be a few different episodes for this specific anime, and that is Sword Art Online. We're starting from the very first amazing food in this series, Season 1, Episode 6, the first time Asuna makes Kirito a sandwich, and he drops it on the ground. <laughs> oh. Should have been eating instead of talking. We are going to recreate that sandwich today, but make it vegan, so I'm going to grab the ingredients and we're going to get started. For the meat replacement in this sandwich, we are going to use seitan. I made this a couple days ago and thickly sliced it. You can buy seitan or you can make it. I will leave a link down below on how to make a really easy seitan. I'm not going to show that in this video because that would make this super duper long. But we are going to marinate this thickly sliced seitan overnight. So I do have one that I marinated last night that we're going to use for today's sandwich but I'm going to show you with the other half how to marinate it so I can make another one of these sandwiches later this week. So in a reusable bag or a container we're going to start with a teaspoon of minced garlic which is probably about two to three garlic cloves. I tend to mince up a good handful of garlic at the beginning of the week that way it's already done for all of my cooking throughout the week. We're going to add our soy sauce. You can use low sodium soy sauce or tamari if you want a little less salty or if you want it to be gluten free. I'm going to add our red pepper flakes, some Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire, Worcestershire, and sugar. I use coconut sugar in place of regular sugar in my household, but you can do this with regular sugar or brown sugar, should work as well. Then, lastly, our water, and I'm just going to drop the seitan in there and shake it up and place this in my fridge overnight. And this is the one that I had in the fridge marinating. The next thing we're going to do is mix up our spicy mayo. Now, we don't know this yet in this episode. We don't find out until episode 9, I believe, that she knows how to make what tastes like spicy mayo, but it is safe to assume that she has figured it out by the time she made this first sandwich, and there's probably spicy mayo on it. I'm just going to make a very, very simple spicy mayo by combining some vegan A's and sriracha. I add enough sriracha to my spice level. There is not really a right or wrong, but I will include in the recipe the amounts that I use just in case you need a little guidance. And I will set this aside until we are ready to use it. The next thing we're going to make is our just egg. Combined this with a little bit of sugar, soy sauce, and marin. And I've got my pan heating up back here. So I'm going to bring you guys around. We're going to go ahead and cook the egg. And then on the same pan, we're going to cook the seitan.
to build this sandwich. So, I'm going to start with the spicy mayo. So, on the sandwich, it looks like pointy lettuce, and the most pointy lettuce I could find was sunflower greens. So, that is what I am using. And then we're going to go for the egg on top. On top of that, she puts edible flowers, uh, white edible flowers. I could only find yellow and orange edible flowers, so this is what we're going to use. And this is my version of Asuna's sandwich. Eat it before it loses its durability. That was super cringy, I'm sorry. It's delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm about to serve this for my partner and I for lunch today. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video from me. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this recipe. Let me know if you try it. I would love to know what you think and if it's close to the original, what you think about that. <laughs> okay. Bye, y'all. Where'd you buy these anyway? I didn't. Huh? I made it. Yes, I can cook. So what?